Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I feel like it's been so long since I've talked to you guys. Um, I'm hiking right now, so out of breath. Um, but I just wanted to show you this hike because oh my god, it's so beautiful. So this is the um, south side of Turtleback Mountain. Okay, I cannot breathe, but look at this. literally feel like I'm in a jungle right now. It's funny, there's so many different um, routes on this hike to get to the top that you don't really like run into people, which is nice. Come on, Eva, come on. Say hi, Eva. Okay, goodbye. Um, but anyway, lots of exciting things have happened. Um, I went on a whale watch and saw um, transient orcas um, hunting porpoises and they were throwing them out of the water. It was just insane. I got it all on footage, film, whatever you want to say. I don't know if I want to post it. I do, but I don't know. Um, maybe I will. Um, anyway, I've been working a ton after not working for like, what, three and a half months in Portland. Um, I've been working like 40, 50 hours at the local co-op here. Um, again, I'm on Orcas Island um, and there's an island market here and a co-op. I work at the co-op. Um, lots of really awesome people. I love it so far. Um, I'll update you guys a little bit more. In a second, I forgot that this hike is really steep and I cannot breathe. <laughs> very very steep and just kind of wanted to give you guys a view of what's going on right now um okay let's see we're on like a little bit of a ledge oh my gosh orcas island is so rich with nature in general um but wildlife the forests here and like people really care about the environment here so like i was saying um i work at the co-op and we don't have plastic bags there which is freaking awesome and people don't um they don't bag their produce so like back in reno um back in reno you would get like for example like a head of broccoli and you would bag it and that was just like the norm. Everybody there just kind of does it. And here people don't do that. They just like throw the head of broccoli into their cart and then buy as is. So you're basically like grabbing all their produce. But I mean, like you should, cl you should clean your produce anyway. So yeah, people don't bag um, their produce here. Um, they only use paper bags, but for the most part, people just like carry stuff out with their hands or they bring their own bags, which, um, sorry, every time Eva like, whips her head around like who is it where where are they but um yeah it's really really cool it's super like health conscience here um environmentally conscience here and i love it i feel like 
even as a vegan, like I feel very connected to nature. Um, and here I feel like extra connected to nature because people here care and it's just lovely. Like I don't, I don't know if I could live here full time, like around the year or whatever, because I know that the winters here are really harsh, which doesn't bother me personally. There's just not a ton to do on the island. So like I, will admit that I like to go out and drink and dance sometimes um, and that was kind of becoming a bad habit for me in Portland I think I was just like kind of in a bad place when I was in Portland um, but uh, things have gotten a lot better but I still enjoy going out excuse me I still enjoy going out and dancing and there's really like that is not an option here really um, unless you bring your own music to the beach or something which is always fun as well um, but I love it here so far and now the plan is for me to go back to Reno Nevada Ooh, little guy get off the screen um, ooh, not in my face <laughs> um, the plan is to go back to Reno Nevada after the summer um, like around late August um, uh, beginning of September but I kind of haven't decided I almost want to go to California, but that's kind of another topic on its own. Anyway, I don't think I'm going to go to the very top of this mountain today because I'm dying. <laughs> um, ever since I started working, my body has just like been hating me um, because my job is very like very laborious. Um, hopefully I'm super buff after the summer because I do a lot of heavy lifting and moving around. Um, but even from this point of view, I still have a wonderful view. Kind of went off the trail, which I know I'm not supposed to do, but I did it anyway. <laughs> um, any more updates? Let's see. Um, I really enjoy where I live and I did want to do um, a little house tour because actually um, the house that I live in is super cute and really clean and my roommates are really cool and um, they're vegan and vegetarian too which is really really awesome and nice for me because um, if I ever like have any questions about anything um, they're there to answer um, like if there's a, a food that I'm um, confused about, like I'll just ask my roommates about it and ask them if they would eat it. And if the answer is yes, then obviously I got what I was looking for. Um, but um, anyway, I live on um, a ton of land too. So it's like, Okay, I keep looking around because I'm still very paranoid about vlogging in front of people. I just think it's so awkward um, doing it in front of people. And I think I say this in every single video, but it really is. <laughs> and I know that vlogging is completely normal nowadays, but for me, I'm just like, oh my God, don't look at me while I'm talking to nobody. <laughs> but anyway, um, I live on 11 acres and the land is so beautiful. I mean, it's like lush, like super lush. Like this here is really lush, but where I live is like extra lush. And um, I'm literally like a walk away from the ocean side, which um, is really cool. And there's like three ponds on the property. There's also like several other houses, but for whatever reason, our house in um, one that's like somewhat up the hill, like it's not very far, I can see it from my house. Um, is occupied but the other three I think there's I think there's three other ones on the property that are vacant and they're not even completed so it's just like kind of an interesting setup so I'll have to make um, like a tour of uh, my house in the land but um, yeah so I I don't have service at my house like at all no service and um, I go on Wi-Fi to use my phone and if someone is an Android user, I literally cannot text them unless they have this specific app that I downloaded on onto my phone. They have to download the app onto their phone too and then add me so that we can uh, text. And I can't make phone calls at my house. Um, so it's really interesting. That was kind of a hard adjustment at first because, um, you know, we 
We like to sit here and say that technology is terrible, but I think I would die without my phone. <laughs> I love nature and I love being away from technology, but at the same time, I absolutely love my phone, like the rest of us. I will openly admit that. Um, but yeah, I'm, um, I'll walk away from the ocean, and it's funny because the ocean, if I walk there, it probably takes me about like 10 minutes or so. Um, I actually run there. Um, I try to run <clears throat> at least like three times a week or something like that and I run to the ocean side because it's about um, it's a little less than a mile away from my house and it's all hills so it's like a really good workout it's not just flat but um, I went there this morning because I needed to make a phone call to pay a bill and I got so lucky and saw more orca like, from the shoreline and I have very poor vision um, I heard them breathing and I was like, oh my God, is that orca? I can hear them breathing. And I went down to like where the tide was and it was really, really, really low this morning. Like the lowest I've ever seen it in that particular um, spot. And I saw them um, swim by and uh, that made my entire day today. Um, but yeah, life up here has been wonderful. It's very slow paced and amazing and um, I feel like I'm just figuring life out um, a little bit more up here because I don't have the option to do um, like a lot of going out um, and drinking, I guess, which is nice. Um, and yeah, I just really enjoy it up here and I get to be around these wonderful trees every single day with views like this when I do the house tour hi Eva <laughs> you're so cute when I do the house tour um, I'll do it in like a, what am I trying to say I'll do a house tour and like a land tour and then I'll take you guys to like the ocean side it's so cool um, actually a couple pictures on my Instagram uh, have been on there um, have, wait, a couple of pictures from my Instagram have been from that particular spot. Um, but, I don't know. I guess I will update you guys a little bit later. Um, I think I'm going to end the video now. So if you'd like, go follow my Instagram. I'll link it down below. And I made Eva an Instagram account. Um, I'll post hers down below too for you. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!